Greetings, Will at Barbell Cooking. Today I'm going to show you how to spatchcock a chicken. This is part of a video series we're doing called Barbell Cooking Techniques that are short videos, how-to videos, that don't require 20 minutes and humor and all that. And before I jump into it, I wanted to show you these. These are Wusthof kitchen shears. They are, by design, for spatchcocking chicken and cutting through bones and cutting through flesh. Um, kind of a death metal guy's dream, right? Either way, they come apart for easy cleaning and they're cheap. So I'll put a link in the description. If you have the means, I suggest you lay your hands on these because you can spatchcock a chicken with a knife or a cleaver, but it's kind of dangerous. These are safer. Let's get to it. Spatchcocking a chicken simply means cutting the backbone out of a chicken. You do this so the chicken will lay flat. Another brilliant thing about these shears is that you can use it to clean up the bird a bit, chopping off bits of skin, fat, and save them for the stock pot. I've got a container just off camera that I'm throwing these things into. So once you get it cleaned up the way that you like, flip the bird over, tail end toward you, and grab a hold of the tailbone. And then you're going to run the scissors just up the side. Stay as close to the backbone as you can. You're going to hit a leg bone there. Just crunch through that. And once you get to the top, just flip the bird around so it faces you. Grab it by the neck and go back down the other side. You're going to hit that leg bone again. Crunch right through that. And it should come away clean. I'm just breaking this so I can fit into my container. Now you have to be careful here because when you cut the back out, it leaves the ribs exposed and they get rather sharp. You can easily cut yourself. So flip the bird over and then you're going to lay the legs and thighs out on top of the bird. And then press down in the middle of the breastbone and you're going to feel this very satisfying crunch. Just like that. And that's it. You're done. You can fold the wings under, salt, pepper it, put it on a roasting rack. Remember to hit that like and subscribe. We'll see you next time on Barbell Cooking.